Hello, me bros. This is Jason of Gamers Talks, and welcome to my 23rd haul video. I know, my 23rd haul video. It's not like it's gonna be anything spooky, even though it's October. I, don't, I really didn't get any horror games. Actually, I didn't get any at all. So, you're not gonna expect any, like, spooky, scary skeletons to shivers down your spine. Nothing like that. Anyway, so now, let's start. So, I have a bunch of stuff here. I got games, of course. I got a new... I got a console that I already have, but I need a replacement of, to be honest. And then... And I went to some new stores. So, yeah, let's start. So, starting with the just some random crap, I got um, uh, my Game Informer, which I got yesterday. This one is for Dreams. That game by the people who made Little Big Planet. I like this, I like this artwork. I gotta be completely... Completely honest, and yeah, and this is actually not the only Game Informer you're gonna see in this video. I actually have another one that you'll see in a bit, and then this that I missed when I got Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I got my um, flashlight, which was a pre-order bonus for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. There you go, every side, and then let us let's open it. it. Shouldn't be that hard. It's not gonna take long at all. Oh wow, it even has battery. It even has its own Shadow of the Tomb Raider batteries. Come on, camera, focus. 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 There we go. Yeah, Shadow of the Tomb Raider AAA batteries. That's funny. And then here's the flashlight. Look at that. Nice silver Shadow of the Tomb Raider flashlight. It's not on. Of course not, because it's because in a. <clears throat> I can't speak. It's not because I can't speak. It's because I've been recovering from a cold, which I am feeling a lot better. That's for sure. So, just to get this out of the way, I have um my console that I got, and it's a well, it's a replacement one, but this is a PlayStation Two Slim. I need one of these for um for a location mine up up in. Up in my, I guess, vacation home because it doesn't really read DVDs all too well. So, got this one. Really, the only problem with it is that the um, the power the power slash reset button's kind of stuck. And if you could hear that, like that little crackling, I'm trying to get it unstuck. Maybe I can get it unstuck someday, but I don't know. I have also have the cords behind me, so that I'm not gonna pull those out. And I got that that um. PS2 from Core Gaming, and then I got a normal DualShock 2, and it, I did not pay $14.99 for it. It's just a normal DualShock 2. Should work perfectly fine. Alright, now let's get to the games. So, the first few games are the only games I got from Bull Moose, which is a regular place of mine. I got a PlayStation 2 game and a Game Boy Advance game in the box. So, the first PlayStation 2 game out of the many in this video is Final Fantasy X 2. <laughs> it's this Final Fantasy X, but it's a sequel, and you got ladies on it. I got nothing against that. It's just I have <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna play this because I don't have I don't have Final Fantasy X yet, so this might be on the side for a while. Anyway, the spine and the back. Last time she saved the world. This time. It's personal, just like Jaws the Revenge. And I shouldn't remind myself of Jaws the Revenge because that's a terrible movie. And yeah, so we got some screenshots, of course. And then one of the characters, let's say who it is. Nope. So inside is the disc with that character again. I really need to play Final Fantasy X. And then here's the manual. And then on the back is nothing. Great. Alright, so then the Game Boy Advance game in the box that I got, which is the only Game Boy Advance game I got in the box, is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, a few haul videos ago, I got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for the GameCube. So, this was pretty much that. This right here, connect, Extend Your Adventure, uh, connect to Nintendo GameCube Harry Potter game. Because I wanted to see like what, what it does. And this, it was only $4 at Bull Moose, so that's why I got it. Because finding cheap Game Boy Advance games in the box is really good. And this is in really nice condition anyway. And I got Harry doing his thing against 
Nagini, I think, from the movies, and top, bottom, spine, other side, and the back. Dare to return to Hogwarts. So, I haven't played um, Chamber of Secrets on the GameCube yet, but... Yeah, I'm guessing this is probably the same, just a bit downgraded for the Game Boy Advance. And because it has French, I have a feeling that this is a Canadian copy of the game. So, I'm opening the box. We got the precautions booklet. Of course. And then here is the... If I can get it out. Manual for the game. And then here is the cartridge in a, in a little baggie. Surprised the baggie was even, was even in there. Because usually with Game Boy Advance games boxed, I usually don't find the baggie. That was cool to find. Alright, so the next one is um, some games from a new place that I found in um, in Plastow, New Hampshire, called um, Video Game Exchange. So I got a few games from there. Here's their card. And so, first let's start with a loose Game Boy Advance game. This was probably the best thing that I found in this haul video. It's, um, for one dollar, I got WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro Games. Let me move that up and focus camera. Focus. There we go. WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro Games. Uh, yeah, I found this for a dollar. Usually this game, this game goes for like twenty dollars, maybe with the bot with box. But loose, I found it for a dollar. I was just searching through, um, the the Game Boy Advance games loose in, in like a one dollar bin, and I found this. So like, hey, I wanted to see it, and then I looked it up on eBay when I got home. It was it's like a twenty twenty dollar game. And like, whoa, I just got a steal. That's amazing. And, yeah, and there was a sticker on the back, which I'm still trying to get the rest of the residue off. And yeah, best find, best find. Okay, sorry about that. So, I don't know what ha what happened. Maybe I just hit the, the stop button, I don't know. So, that um, uh, for the PlayStation 2 game, and it's Sly 2, Band of Thieves. For fourteen dollars, yeah, maybe I I might have overpaid for this game just a little bit, but I don't run I don't run across the Sly Cooper games at all. I've I've looked for, at Core Gaming and I've never seen them. So found Sly Two for fourteen dollars. Said like, hey, it's Sly two, Sly Cooper. I wanted to try the, these games for a while, and here we go, Sly Two. It's not the, not the only Sly game you're gonna see in this video, that's for sure. So we got Sly, we got Bentley and Murray. And then we got Sly right there, just going in the moonlight. Maybe because it's Halloween. Probably not. Spine and the back. Sly and the gang are back. And then we got a, lots of screenshots of the game. So we got one of Murray right here picking up something. And we got Sly. Sly's buttocks. I don't know. Then Bentley right there. And then Sly again. And then more stuff. And inside, here's the disc with... Um, the trio right there, Sly, Bentley, and Hit Murray again. And then here's the manual. Oh, I'm sorry, the Thievius Raccoonus. And anything on the back? Yes, there is the strategy guide. And then right here is, I guess, a a map of some kind. It shows all of the the maps in the game. So like, here's World One, World Two, and then here's World Three. And this was cool. This was just in here when I found it. And then there's a nice Sucker Punch logo right there. Alright, and then... I guess, and all these games, all these PlayStation 2 games work perfectly fine. Because that PS2 that I got, I played them and they all work perfectly fine. But I really want to try Slide 2 because I've heard that's the best in the series. Alright, so next is a Wii game. And I got... Wario Land. Shake it. Going from WarioWare to Wario Land. Huh. So yeah, Wario Land. This game was twelve dollars, as you can see, and you. I think that's the usual price for the game, so that's that's fair. So we got Wario right here, just like shaking a, an enemy with all these coins and some garlic, because it's Wario. Many, 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 many. Spine, the coin on the bottom and the back. Treasure, yours for the shaking. <laughs> Look at Wario's face, like many, 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 many. <laughs> and then there's some enemies like that. Oh no, he's doing our many, 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 many. And inside is the disc. Nice yellow disc and pink disc. And then here's a register your software with Wario getting, getting spiked on the buttocks by an enemy. 
And then if you like Wario Land, shake it. You, you check out these other great games: Mario Super Sluggers, Super Paper Mario, and Mario Kart Wii with the Wii Wheel. And then here's the manual with, with of course, treasure because many, 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 many because it's Wario. Many, 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 many. I got the many, 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 many. I don't know how that reference goes. I think that's how it goes. If I'm being honest. All right. Let's play some. Let's played a little bit of this game. Like a few, like, I think weeks ago. It's a fun game. Alright, so then I got an original Xbox game. And it's... Tech, the Great Juju Challenge. And my voice just cracked. Because of course it did. Yeah, Tech, the Great Juju Challenge. I wanted to get this game... Well, one, it was $8. And one was because I really liked the tech game on the DS. Um, what was it called? Mojo Mistake, I think. So, I never played the console one. So, I wanted to get this one. Because this was the first one I found, and yeah, it's it's a lot different from Mojo Mistake. This one's a 3D platformer, and I think it has like some kind of like mini games being called the Great Juju Challenge. So we got Attack and Lock right there, and then some of the Juju's up there, and Spine and the back. On your mark, get set, Juju, or go. I don't know. And we got screenshots. I know, I remember actually. I remember this um. Like, this series be, being, like, a really shortly-lived TV, TV show. It only it only ran for one season. I think I only catched one episode on Netflix, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, inside, it even has um, the seal. That's cool. Then so here's the disc with the same artwork from the cover. And then here's the manual with the same thing. Anything on the back? Manual. Yes! SpongeBob SquarePants. Lights. Camera. Pants! That'd be good for her parties so i want to find that game i want to find it. i want to get it on either like xbox or like, gamecube because i want to play that with you know some friends all right so the next um pile is also from another new used game store that i've been that i've never been to actually i have been to it but it was in, like my very like my second haul video which was the last time i got it so. um it's called um bazaar bazaar with an a um game trading so I had got I had gotten stuff from there before, but they they shut down and be no, they closed down because um their store flooded, so they moved from I think Drake it to Tingsboro, which is I don't know how far that is from where I am. So I got a bunch of stuff from there. I got actually so first up is a issue of Game Informer. Can't see it. There it is, and it's New Super Mario Bros. U on the cover. This is issue. 234 and it was only 250 so that's why i picked it up because i'm trying to get like, as many game informer magazines as i can because i currently still have a subscription to game informer as you saw right there with my one with dreams that they actually had a one for the first ratchet and clank but that i passed up for some reason this one's for october 2012 which is cool because i think that this was like a month before the wii u came out and it shows like like right here lego city undercover and like Project P100, which I think became one the um, the wonderful 101, which is cool, and then Ninja Guy and Three Razors Edge. A lot of cool stuff in there about like the Wii U and like stuff for October 2012. All right, so I've got a bunch of stuff. So the first one is a a Game Boy um, cartridge case. This was only a dollar, so that's why I picked it up. And it it's actually kind of a tough fit. Yeah. Cause like you get, I, cause you can put Game Boy Color games in here. It's just kind of hard to get out and just you like do that. And I like the the like. Let me hold on, let me do that again. Reminds me of like the Switch is clicking. I don't know, I like that. All right, so then I got another Game Boy Advance game, Loose. And this um, what just good? It was it's in a little baggie. It's um, Pac Man Collection for the GBA. This one was four dollars. So, and then they also have the, um, a card in here for Bazaar Game Trading. See, spell with an A. And yeah, Pac-Man Collection. It's basically just a little Pac-Man compilation. It has Pac-Man, of course. It has Pac-Man Arrangement, Pac-Mania, and I think Pac-Attack. Right, basically $1 for each game. Wait, why not? And speaking of Pac-Man, I also got a, um... A Genesis game from there. This is the only Genesis game I got from there, and it's loose. And I got 
Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures for the Genesis. And just the, just the, the cover, the, the label alone just kind of like, what is this game? It was, a, uh, let's see, it's five, it was five dollars, so, kind of wanted, it was, it was mostly out of curiosity as to why I got this, like, what is this game? Why is Pac-Man screaming on a hang glider? I don't know. So, I, I played it, I played a little bit of it, and it's definitely not what I expected. It's a interactive cartoon, like, according to, I think, uh, the, the case that I looked up online, because I was looking at the Super Nintendo version to see how, how much this one, what, that was, and yeah, I think these games are the same on the Super Nintendo and Genesis, but yeah, this game is weird, it's, it's a weird game, because it's a point and click game, and, it's, and it's a genre that I'm not all that used to, so, it's kind of weird just playing that game, it's not bad by any means, it's just I need to get used to, like, the controls and whatnot. Alright, so next is a PlayStation 1 game, which is the only PlayStation 1 game I have in this video. And it's SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. So, big reason why I wanted this was because it was it was only $4. How can I pass up a PS1 game for 4 bucks? I don't know. So, um, yeah. And since I'm a big SpongeBob fan, I wanted to get this game because it looked it looked pretty decent. And we got Spongebob, like, yay! Because, look, there's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Evil! Evil, 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 evil! Oh, yeah, stop. Because it's Halloween. <laughs> Even though it's Halloween. And then Spongebob, da -da -da -da. And Spine, and the back. Yeah, it's Greatest Hits. I don't really care. It's Greatest Hits. Hopping Clams! Zap! And, yeah. It's, it's a... It, to be honest, the, the, graphically, the game doesn't look too great for the... PlayStation 1, because this game came out in, um, was it, it doesn't say, but I think it's a 2001 in the game, then so inside, here is the disc, which some of the clamps are broken, and then back over here is, weirdly enough, the PlayStation 2 advertisement for Spongebob Squarepants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, which I have on GameCube. And then taking out the disc is Spongebob, saying like, hey, go to nickelodeonnick.com or thq.com. <laughs> Just go to a website. Might be some Halloween stuff. Alright, so then next is another PlayStation 2 game. Because of course it is. Uh, camera focus. There we go. And it's Frogger The Great Quest. I know I'm saying that like it's a bad thing, but... I don't know. This game is weird. It's, it's, it's not like like grid by grid, uh, grid based like platforming. It's it's a three D platformer. Yeah, it's a three D platformer being called the Great Quest. It's it, yeah, and spine and the back. Frogger's back at full three D. And yes, like I said, it's an, it's a three D platformer. It was six dollars, so. Can't wouldn't really pass it up. I mean, I don't know. Maybe this game could be decent at the very least. But that princess looks really weird. Just look at her like big beady eyes. Maybe there comes a spooky, scary skeleton and shivers down your spine. No. All right. And inside is the disc with. Okay, that's not the same image from the cover. Frogger running away from what is that? A goblin in the back. And this is the only game that I have, the only PS2 game that's a blue disc. Not sure why PlayStation, why Sony even did that. And here's the manual, which is, which is the same from the cover. And on the back is the PlayStation 1 version of Dance Dance Revolution. Weird. I don't know. Alright, next. Alright, so next is a, another Wii game. Which, this is the last thing I got from Bazaar. And it's... Pinball Hall of Fame, the Williams Collection. Seeing as I have the Gottlieb Collection on both the PS2 and Xbox, I decided to get um, the Williams Collection on the Wii. Since one, I've, I'm a really big fan of pinball, and two, I've always wanted. I was always curious about the Williams Collection, since I grew up with the Gottlieb Collection on PS2, and it actually doesn't really use motion controls all, all too much. Really, it's just for like tilting the table, and that's it. Yeah, and, and I can't exactly remember which table this is on the cover. 
But maybe if I play the game again, I'll I'll know. And spine and the back. The glory days of pinball are back. So then, unlike the Gottlieb collection, which has seven, uh, the Williams collection over here has ten. So we have Black Knight, Firepower, Funhouse, Gorgar, Pinbot, Space Shuttle, Taxi, Whirlwind, Jive Time, and Sorcerer. Yeah, I said them in the voice like the, the announcer in the game. You'll know exactly what I mean. And also, five bucks. Couldn't pass it up, especially for pinball like me. Especially if you like pinball like I do. So inside, here's the disc. Got a purple disc. And then here's the manual. And is, is there anything on the back if I can pull it out? Nope. Just utter blackness. But yeah, this game is also on the PS2 and the PS3, I think. I'm not sure if it's on the 360, but I know it's on PS2 and PS3. And I think PSP, but I could be wrong. Alright, so next is some um, GameStop stuff. I got um, four PlayStation 3 games uh, in. Um, good old classic 4 for 10 deals. But since I'm a leap pro at, um, at GameStop, I got these for 8 bucks, So $2 each. So the first one is... Soul Calibur 4. Okay, to be honest, one of the reasons why I wanted Soul Calibur 4 was because Darth Vader was on the front. I thought it was so dumb, I I, I just wanted to play as Darth Vader. I, and I don't know if Darth... I can't remember if Darth Vader is unlocked right off the bat. But yeah, Soul Calibur 4. This is not the only Soul Calibur game, which you'll see in a bit. Yeah, two dollars. Not the best condition because it's kind of water damage, and you can see right here that's bent right here and ripped. But that's fine. And spine, black spine, and the back. What's within your soul? I can tell you. Spooky, scary skeletons. No, it's not spooky, scary skeletons. So then screenshots, and look, there's Darth Vader. So I th correct me if I'm wrong, but I think both the PS3 and the Xbox 360 versions have Darth Vader, Yoda, and Star Killer from Force Unleashed as guest characters. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I because I know the 360 versions cover as Yoda on it, and this one has Darth Vader, obviously. But yeah, so and inside here's the disc, which is the same as the front logo, kind of, and then here's the manual, which is the same, and on the back is Naruto. Uh, I can't speak. Naruto, uh, my god, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Just the first Ultimate Ninja Storm. I think there's four of those, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, next PS3 game is Bioshock. Oh my god, Bioshock. This was one of my, f this was my favorite game on the, the, three, the Xbox 360. And since my... Uh, I actually still have my 360 version, and since my 360 is now broken and doesn't work anymore, I, I got the PlayStation 3 version, and I'm not sure if this version suffers because because the PS3, I think at the time when this game came out in 2000, 2008, and I'm not sure if this version suffers from the P from the 360 version because this had a, a long install, installing, t um, loading, but I, but that that's really it. And spine and and I like the how the cover is different from the 360 version. And spine and the back. Welcome to Rapture. And yeah, this was like I said, this was one of my favorite games on the 360. No, this was my favorite game on the the 360. And I did play a bit of Bioshock 2, but I didn't finish it because my 360 stopped working. And yeah, this game is is awesome. You need you sh you need to play this game. So inside, there's the disc with like some water dripping. And then um, over here is, a ma is the manual with a big daddy probably grabbing your character with one of the little sisters. And then taking out the disc and the manual, we got one of those artworks that I love so much. You can see, I'm guessing is a little sister grabbing a big daddy's hand, which is just really sweet. Bioshock, I mean, just play Bioshock. This game is amazing. Camera, stop shaking. Alright, so next is Wait, camera focus. Final Fantasy 13 2. 
yeah, I got Final Fantasy 13 too. Now, to be honest, Final Fantasy 13 is okay. It's not complete garbage like everyone says it is, but it's not the best Final Fantasy game, and it's definitely not a great place to start, that's for sure. But I've heard that 13.2 actually fixes some of the problems that 13 has, like the hallways, and I don't know, it really get the story unfolds earlier in the game. I'm not completely sure. Because we don't have lightning on the front, and she's a boring character in Final Fantasy 13. So, I don't know. It's in spine, white spine, and the back. Change the future! I hope we can be- uh, Camera, stop shaking! I hope we can change the future because I don't want to- Because Lightning is such a boring character. I mean, because she's- Because she talks so- It's monotone. That's really the big problem with her. And that's pretty much it, but- Yeah. I haven't played enough of Final Fantasy thirteen to really critique the game yet. The inside, here is the disc, just a plain white disc, and here's the manual, which is pretty thick, and then nothing on the back. Alright, hopefully that game improves Final Fantasy, thir for, Final Fantasy 13. Alright, so the last PS3 game that I got is Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. I was actually kind of surprised that this, was even, that it, this even existed, because I have Gran Turismo 5. The full game. So, I'm not sure why Sony did that. Maybe it's because Forza was becoming popular. I don't know. Then we got a car. Don't know which car. And spine and the back. Precision meets realism. Realism. Yeah. A bunch of cars. Cars doing car things. And then inside, here's the disc with that same car. And then here's the manual with the same car. And then... An advertisement for the PSP. And then taking out the disc and all the, the inserts, you can see a tunnel with a car. Because, of course, it's Gran Turismo. Cars everywhere. We got to have cars because we need to. Because Forza is becoming popular. Alright, so next is uh, two PlayStation 2 games that I bought off eBay. This was because I couldn't find these games for the life of me. The first one... Well, let me just show you. The first one is Jack 3. So, for Jack 3, I for the last few times I went to Core Gaming, I couldn't find this game at, like, at all. And I've seen this game at Core Gaming plenty of times. So, I went on eBay and I found it for, I think, I don't know, 10, 10 bucks, I think. So, it wasn't too bad. I couldn't remember the price at Core Gaming, so. And I so I got Jack 3 and the as you can see right here, this ver this the, this copy that I have is taped up because, um, I don't know what the seller did, but he ripped, like the thing that I don't know what you call it, this uh, the the thing that holds the the artwork in. Oh uh, yeah, greatest hits version. I don't really care that it's greatest hits because it actually kind of fits, the th like the um, the the artwork for Jack Three. So we got Jack right there, and then it just decks are like we're gonna end this. And spine and the back. The epic legacy concludes. And then we got Dark Jack and then we got Light Jack. One of the really the big reason why I want why I wanted Jack 3 is one, because I want all the Jack and Daxter games and and two, because I want to see if this game is an improvement to Jack 2, because the difficulty in Jack 2 is like relentless. So inside, here's the disc with Jack and Daxter, of course. And then here's the manual for Jack 3. Oh, I'm sorry. The book. And then we got you know, one of these mail-ins for PlayStation Underground, which I th the seller tore out the thing. Tore it out for some reason. And then Jack X Combat Racing on the back, which is cool. Yeah, I've heard that, that Jack 3 actually does fix the difficulty from Jack 2. Because I... Because... I don't know. Because I heard that that was actually the biggest problem with Jack 2. And it is. The, the game is way too hard. And too inconsistent with its difficulty. Alright, so then the other PlayStation 2 game suffers from the same problem with Jack 3 in terms of the case. So this one is Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. So, see right here, same problem. But this one actually isn't as noticeable with Jack compared to Jack 3. But yeah, this is... Again, I th this one was $10 as well, but... Yeah, 
Sly Cooper. I, w I wanted the Black Widow one because the Greatest Hits one actually has a different cover, and this one just looks cooler. And yeah, the spine and the back. There's a new thief in town. So I'm not sure how how this will rank compare how the Sly games will compare to like the Jack or Jack and Daxter or the Ratchet and Clank games. I'm not sure since I haven't played the Jack and Dax the right um the Sly Cooper games yet. But this game looks really fun. So then inside here's the disc with Sly's face like let's go sneak into a bank. And then we got the manual over here. Oh I'm sorry, the Thievius Raccoonus again. And yeah. Wish that the, I wish that these cases were in better condition though, but uh, it's, it's what it is. All right, so then the last pile of games is um, from Core Gaming. Uh, I did, um, you know, the four for ten deals from Core Gaming that I keep doing nonstop on this channel. I this time I did the ten for twenty deal. I was like, yeah, ten games for twenty dollars. So the first one is the. Um, Game is a Game Boy Color game. It's the only Game Boy Color game that I got. So this is um, Tonka Raceway. My camera focus. There we go. I really got this game because of its unique shape. Because it's one of those ones that has Rumble. And it takes a AAA battery. And I did test out the Rumble. It does work. And yeah, it's just um, it's kind of, it's like a top-down racing game. Pretty pretty decent. Uh, so next is the is a GameCube game, which is the only GameCube game that I have, and it's and it's actually a blank case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, these are John Doe cases. Well, I don't know because I think John Doe means anonymous, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But you can see there's something in there, and it has stickers on it. But this game, but the game that's in here is Tack to the Staff of Dreams, which I'm glad that I got this game because I've wanted the rest of the Tack games because again. Mojo mistake, not Mojo mistake. Um, great Juju challenge, and then got this one now, which is great. And then here's the manual. We got the disc, which is all, which is green and blue. And we got a Nick Gamer magazine. So we got secrets revealed. So we got um, Fairly Odd Parents, Shadow Showdown, Tack Two, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, and Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius Attack of the Twonkies. And then we got Tack Two right here. Then SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Twonky, Twonky, uh, Attack of the Twonkies, Jimmy Neutron, and then Shadow Showdown for Fairly Odd Parents. Like this. This is cool. I always like getting little inserts in, in games because you always get to see like what, what was there at the time. And then there's something wrong with the manual. You can see right here it's taped and the back page is missing. I didn't notice that on the way, on the way out. And I realized that I could get a, a cover. I don't know what it is it is what it is so uh, next is um two wii games so the first one is oh my god anubis the second oh yeah i'm get i got anubis the second i'm gonna i'm gonna make a video on this game just to see if this game really is as bad as everyone says it is because as well as because it's because i think this game will make a good, a good video so we got what i'm guessing is anubis the second i don't know what the first one is and camera can stop shaking it's probably this guy making it shake. That's that's bad. That's fine in the back. They didn't even have the balls to actually make um, a, like a, a tagline or something. So we got some screenshots and the game does not look good. <laughs> that's for sure. And inside, here's the disc. Red disc and then the manual, which I didn't look through the manual. Because I read that this game is actually like Ninja Breadman just, just cloned. I, don't, I have no idea. Yeah, it doesn't look good, but for two bucks, I couldn't really go wrong, and I'm not really wasting a lot of money anyway. All right, then we got a le legitimately actual game. We got Rayman Raving Rabbits 2. Now, just don't, don't say anything about the rabbits. I got this game because I wanted to see if it's good. I haven't played the first Rayman Raving Rabbits game, and yes, Rayman is in the back. I know that. But yeah, it, it, it looks like a fun game. And even though the rabbits are just running at me like bat, and spine and the back. Travel the globe in the craziest party game ever. I wouldn't say that because I haven't played the game yet. And we got screenshots, and we can even customize a rabbit. That's that sounds fun. And inside, here's the disc, a black disc. 
And then there's the manual with the same image of the front. And then we got my word coach. Sounds riveting. Camera, stop shaking. Alright, so next is another one of these um, John Doe cases. But this one is an original Xbox game. I have a few original Xbox games and that you'll see in a bit. So if you see it, tell with the little sticker right there. And from this, this one is FIFA Street. <laughs> now, if you know me, I really don't like sports games. I would find them just really, really boring. Especially like Maddens and FIFAs. Those sound boring. But FIFA Street, on the other hand, this is an exception. Because it's more like an arcade, arcade game, which that's much better. EA Sports Big. Good job. Good job for making that decision because that'll make the game way better than I don't know. I, maybe maybe one of these days I'll get an actual FIFA game to see the differences. All right, the next is ugh, Shrek. Kind of another joke game, but at the same time I kind of want to try it out. To be honest, this one is actually in the worst condition. Is actually the worst condition game. They have because the cover's all water damaged. It's an all new environment plus new characters designed by Todd McFarlane. Whoever that is. I think he's actually a comic book guy. If I'm not mistaken. And it shreks with his face. Onions have layers! Then spine, and then yeah, in the back. Extra large, extra funny, extra green. Oh, and onions, please. Okay, that sounds so dumb, but yet I I couldn't I can't help but like laugh at it. And yeah, the the case was up the um, the artwork was upside down, so that's why the price sticker is right here. And believe it or not, this game was actually developed by Dice. Yeah, Battlefield Dice and Star Wars Battlefront Dice and Mirror's Edge Dice. They started with Shrek on the original Xbox. Who what a place to start! <laughs> and so here's the disc. And here's the manual, all the same as the front. But to be honest, this game is actually decent from what I've played so far, which isn't a lot. Alright, so then the last original Xbox game that I have is... Superman, the Man of Steel. And again, this one actually looks pretty fun because Superman, I mean, I know he doesn't have the best track record when it comes to games... But looking at the cover, it actually looks pretty cool. And it's only on Xbox, which is weird to say. Yeah, Superman with this, with like this comic book vibe. It looks it looks fun. And then Spine and the back. And it says nothing. Good job, Atari. Then screenshots. And I haven't played the game yet, so I don't know exactly how well it plays. And inside, here's the disc with Superman reaching for the stars. And then we got the manual right here. And on the back is Battle Engine. Camera focus. Can't focus. There we go. I had to do that with my nose. Battle Engine Equ Aqualia Aquila. R riveting. Alright, so the next is the PlayStation 2 games. And one of which I actually got is Sealed. So, other, but to get that one out of the way. So, this one is Mojo. Like I said, this one is Sealed. There's a little hole right here, but... I'm probably going to keep this. I mean, I'm not going to... I don't collect sealed games, but for two bucks, I couldn't really pass it up. And I'll, and I'll eventually find an open copy of Mojo. And Spine and the back. Get your Mojo working. And see, it has the sticker and it even has the, um, the hanger. Which, that's cool. Alright, so next is... Um, oh, this one. Treasure Planet. Disney's Treasure Planet. The reason why I got this game was because I actually really liked Disney's Treasure Planet. I mean, I know I know it's not the it's not the best Disney movie I've seen, but it's actually it's pretty good. Like visually, it looks stunning for a movie from two thousand two. And yeah, so I like the movie, so that's why I, I got this game. And it's one of those like like uh, Sony and Disney interactive crossover things. I don't know. So we got Jim Hawkins, the carrot main character from the movie. And just like jet boarding, as spine and back. Get your intergalactic air, which that's actually that's actually not true because the, the game is a th uh, 3D collectathon platformer. We got all star cast from the film, and I think they even got all the voice actors from the film except Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I think I could be wrong about that. 
So then inside, here's the disc, just a plain blue disc, and then the manual, which is the same as the front, and on the back is Lilo and Stitch, Expert 626, which I still need to see Lilo, Lilo and Stitch. I know, I'm sorry. And camera stop shaking. Yeah, I hope I hope they actually did get Joseph Gordon-Levitt to play um, Jim Hawkins in the game, because he, he did in the movie. Alright, so then, uh, the next PlayStation 2 game is... Tack and the Power of Juju. Yeah, I got every single Tack game in this video, except um, the later ones. Like, uh, Mojo Mistake and Guardians of Gross, I think, on the Wii. But yeah, this game looks this game looks really fun. I mean, th this is actually the first Tack game. And yeah, Tack and his Dillage. And Spine and the back. Uh, Chicken Suit! And this is one of the most beautiful platformers I have ever seen by Play Magazine. And yeah, Tack is running at you with the spear. Evil. And inside, here's the disc and the manual, which are both the same as the front cover. And then on the back is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, which I have on the original Xbox. Can't wait to try this out. Alright, so the last one is, and probably the best one out of the 4 for 10s, no, 10 for 20s that I got is Soul Calibur 2. See, I told you you were going to see another Soul Calibur game. Yeah, Soul Calibur 2 for $7.99. And you'll see why in a bit. So, one of, my thi one of the things I want to do with Soul Calibur 2 is I want to get every version of the game. So, I have the PlayStation 2 version. I have the PlayStation 2 version, which has Heihachi Mishima from the Tekken games as a guest character. The GameCube version has Link as a guest character. And then I think the Xbox version has Spawn. Created by Todd McFarlane, I think, from Shrek. Fame hat. Funny. And yeah. And then Spine and the back. Transcending history and the world. A tale of souls and swords. For eternally retold. And yeah. This guy. Hey, Hachi right there. And then some screenshots of the game. And I like the blue on the cover. It looks really nice. So then inside. Here is the manual with Hey, Hachi and really nice artwork said here's the disc for the game which has um i don't know who that is in the game and then there's heihachi again and then over here is a namco transmission demo disc which weird to see that this is that this was actually in the game i think this was in the game originally because that's cool that it's actually in there i think soul Calibur 3 also had one as well correct me if i'm wrong yeah that's cool to ha have both like the game itself and a demo disc. Yeah. So that's it. So thank you all for watching the video. And please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video is probably going to be either another Oddworld Monsters Odyssey video or a video on this PlayStation 2 memory card from a few haul videos ago. And yeah, so shock the world and us, Amiibros. Goodbye.